Hi, and welcome back everyone. Today I'll be sharing with you a collection of powerful and free tools within EF Tools that can convert room boundaries into other elements. So here's my Revit project that we're gonna use, and we're gonna try to select some rooms and first of all turn it into floors. Optionally, you can try to select your rooms before you run the tool, and don't worry if you select any other elements, it's gonna filter on your rooms. I'm gonna go to EF Tools, and in this room pull down menu, I will select Room to Floors. Now as you can see, our room selection is activated and we can confirm what we selected and we can also modify it. For example, I can see that I have forgotten this room right here. I can click on it to add it. And once you're happy with your selection, right here, click on finish. Then we'll get this menu where you can select your floor type. And then let's set our offset from level to 5 cm so you can see that it can also raise it. Then once you're happy with your selection, click on create floors and then you need to wait a little. And now once the tool is complete, it's also going to select all of new created floors in your selection so you can modify it further. Maybe you want to add something in the comments, or change the level or adjust the offset. Now I can remove it and let's create some ceilings. I'm just going to go to EF tools and in rooms, I'm going to click on rooms to selection. Same as before, we go into room selection mode and in here we can select all the rooms that we want. We need to select our ceiling type and also we can provide offset from the level. Then click on create ceilings. Once this tool is complete, it's going to select all of new ceilings as your new selection in Revit UI. We can isolate them. And you might have noticed that one room hasn't been selected and it's right here in the middle. I'm going to explain it in a moment. But before I'm going to explain it, let's also create our room outlines. It's going to be much easier to explain you why it's happening. So I'm going to go to rooms and click on rooms to outlines. I'm going to select this area right here. Click on finish. Then we can select our line style that we want to apply. And then click on create once you're happy with your selection. Then once this tool is complete, it's also going to select all the new lines and I will isolate them so we can only see the lines. And let's have a look at this room that hasn't been created. And in this case, I know perfectly well that this room boundary is a little bit corrupted. And if I'm going to zoom in here, you will notice that there is this weird triangle appearing here. And this is actually what's inside of my room boundary. And now let's unhide everything. I'm going to select the room and let's have a look again in here. And you will notice that there is this weird triangle appearing here, which is not supposed to be there. But this is just because of the modeling error. And be aware that sometimes your rooms or ceilings will not be created. And lastly, let's create our field regions. I'm gonna select all of the rooms. Then same as before, we need to select our field region type and click on select. So now it has created all of the field regions. Let's isolate them. And you might notice that all of my field regions, they have a line style of an invisible line, which is not ideal for this purpose. So I'm gonna select all of them, then go to EF tools and there's another tool to change line styles of your regions. Click on it. And now you can see that we have changed our line style of our field regions. So as I have seen in this video, you can easily use EF tools to create your floors, ceilings, field regions and outlines from your selected rooms. And if you haven't already, be sure to install EF tools and give it a try. It's completely free and it has many other tools as well that can be useful in your daily job. And if you're already a user, let me know down in the comments which tool you use the most or suggest me a new one, maybe I'll create it as well. And a huge thank you to my supporters on Ko-fi and Patreon for making it possible for me to develop these tools and videos. So if you're interested, please consider joining this list, but even if you can't, a simple like can help this video to reach even more people. Thank you for watching, my name is Eric Fritz, I'll see you in the next video. Have a great one.